Well, welcome back, guys, to another Mod Showcase Season 2. My name is Leaf, and as always, it is so awesome to have you guys here again once more for yet another spectacular Mod Showcase. Now, this week, we have a lot of good stuff, and we actually do have all of our waterfowl working this time, so we'll actually get to those when we do. But, of course, as we always do, we make our way right down here through Remaster Row. That's essentially what I'm going to call this little joint over here. And we're actually going to take a look at the Spotted Hyena Remaster by Havoc. Now, there are currently two Spotted Hyena Remasters out there right now. There's one by Havoc, and there's one by Dr. Hyena. Soon enough, we'll look at Dr. Hyena's next week. But for the time being, Havoc's was the first one up, so we're checking out his. And, of course... These guys are stellar. So, of course, if you aren't really too much of a fan of the inaccuracies that the Frontier models do have, definitely do check out these remasters, especially for these guys right here. They are beautiful. And you know what? I completely forgot to let babies run in here, so I'm just going to enable that really quickly. We're just going to apply that and then hit OK, and then we're just going to let it play for a little bit more. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. I love the coats on them. They are stellar stellar little hyenas and did you guys know that hyenas are more closely related to cats than dogs i did not know that that is actually insane they seem more dog like than anything but yeah these guys are really cool so definitely do check these guys out this by hyena it's kind of a niche one i guess you would say you're more able to see like striped hyenas maybe brown hyenas or even ard wolves more in captivity but you know these guys are pretty cool so yeah, that's that for them. So we're going to move over here. And this is the Malayan Tapir Remaster by AD and Nathan. And listen, Frontier, I know you're listening. I know you're looking at my videos. Look at this, okay? This is how a Malayan Tapir is supposed to look, guys. <laughs> no, I'm playing around. You guys know I appreciate every single thing that you do. But these guys are my favorite animals, probably like of all time. I love the coloring on them, and I love the shape of them. And you know, all I want is just for those model tweaks to be addressed, and that little mole on their face to be removed, but besides that, I don't know. I just really want these guys to be remastered, and of course we still have that like purple coloration happening there, and that's just an FGM value. Listen Frontier, please, for 1.7 remaster of the tape here, please, but still nonetheless, AD and Nathan have taken it upon themselves to rework this guy, so big ups to them. And this is probably a must download because these guys deserve to be seen in their complete and full glory. Now moving on, we do have the Cheetah Remastered by Havoc. And Havoc, you are doing wonders with all these remasters, so what is that? Is that just a rock? That's a strange little rock. But yeah. These guys are the cheetahs. I'm not sure when the last time I showed these guys off was, but they are absolutely beautiful. Cheetahs are slowly making themselves to be some of my favorite animals of all time. Just because, I don't know, they're just not like all the other big cats. They're skinny, they're lengthy, lengthy, wow, lanky, and they're fast. And you know what? I love them for that. They're just such beautiful creatures. So definitely do check this out if you guys are hoping to remake. Well, get a remaster of them and get better looking ones. I highly do recommend it. And look at that particularable map. It's so cute. And for the time being, we don't have anything in these enclosures as well as that one back there. But I know you guys don't mind because we have a lot of awesome stuff right over here. So, first of all, I want to get into the new scenery for the week. Now, this is done entirely by me. Oh my god, I know. Leaf has finally made his way into the scenery scene and yes i have imported all these guys from endless ocean too yeah we'll just get right into them of course we do have the blue sea star we have the crown of thorn sea star which is my personal favorite we have the giant isopod which you know how can you not love these guys they're adorable i love them we have some giant japanese spider crabs we have these red streaked box crabs uh, we have the Sea Pig and the Red Sea Star, and we have two lobsters. So if you guys are hoping to make some aquariums, definitely do check these guys out. I didn't make these guys into um, new species or whatever, just because it really wasn't in the cards. Like, it didn't really make sense. But still, I love these guys nonetheless, so definitely do check that out if you are hoping to get some more standalone scenery. 
And of course, over here, we are making our way into the deep, deep waters. We have a lot of stuff in here, so let's start off with the Atlantic Bluefin Tuna by Giorno and Buff Zoo. Of course, you guys are doing some amazing things with fish. You guys have absolutely dethroned me in terms of that, so listen, thank you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy someone came over and pulled the ropes away from me because you guys do such amazing job with these guys, and especially for the fact that you were able to, like, properly find out which bones were necessary for the fish. It's just like such wonderful rigging jobs for all of you guys. It's amazing work. So great job on that. And of course we have this big guy right here making an absolute fool out of himself. This is the basking shark. And yeah, they're just big old boys. I don't know what else there is to say. It's the second largest cartilaginous fish out there. And yeah, they're just very, very cool. So definitely do check that out. If you're hoping to do like more open ocean, maybe reef tanks or stuff like that. Not reef, but speaking of reef, we have the largest reef fish right here. Now this is the giant grouper. You guys might know these guys from holding their young in their mouth. But yeah, these guys are really cool and they actually do move around pretty good as well. And yeah, I believe Buff Zoo actually rigged this and Jorno did the coding and it works so well i love these guys so much and of course we do have the atlantic blue marlin over here we're having a lot of atlantic animals this time around but yeah this guy is originally from aurora designs by the way everything else that we've seen is from endless ocean save for the tuna that one is from uh animal crossing yes but yeah this is the atlantic blue marlin i love these guys they do a little bit of the swaying but i feel like we can look over it for now Oh no, they're just really cool. I love them. <laughs> I really do. So we also have the Baikuda, which is a kind of like a freshwater barracuda, I would say. This one's from Endless Ocean as well, and they did fix the normals, they just haven't uploaded it yet. So do keep an eye out for the updated version, which should be out at that time. And last but not least for our fish, we have the Great Barracuda from... I think this one's actually from Beyond Blue, and it's really beautiful. So if you are hoping to have, like, a beautiful, like, Barracuda tank, these guys are vicious. Definitely do have one of those, because they are really cool. And I'm trying to remember where our last guy is. I think Seth actually has the Ribbon Seal. But unfortunately, it uses my Monk Seal text. <laughs> okay, great job, Seth. So over here, we do have the African Golden Cat going back to Africa. We have this guy by Frazzle, and he's absolutely beautiful. He has smashed it with this one. Like, the coloring, the splotches on this guy, like, you can see some, like, minor spots and stuff like that. It came out so well. And I don't know. The beautiful blue eyes on this guy is really amazing as well, so amazing job on that, Frazzle. And like, just getting more and more small cats, it's perfect for this game. And we're gonna skip right over those guys and check out the Red Shank Duke by Monsoon. So this one was goaded by me, but all the effort was done by Monsoon, and these guys are stunning. Look at these colorations, look at their stupid little faces, I love them so much. And there's so much color on there. Oh no, they're called like the Queens of Monkeys because they have so much color happening. But, oh my god, definitely do get this one, guys. This is probably my favorite one of the week. And yeah, I will be working a lot with Monsoon going on in the future. We do have, like, a little Munt Jack in process. And we also have... I think it's a... Uh, I forget how you say it. I don't know. It's a bovine from Southeast Asia. And speaking of Southeast Asia, we have the Asian Water Monitor, and these guys are amazing. Nick made these within a day. I was so floored by that. They did all this texture by hand. Um, just such amazing, amazing creatures. They will be in Capron Park Zoo. By the way, hope you guys enjoyed Capron Park Zoo on Friday. Check it out on Nick's channel going on forward for next Friday. But yeah, these guys are beautiful, and I love the color variation on them. This one's a little bit darker, this one's a little bit lighter. It's just really cool, it just gives a lot more personality to all your animals. And we're gonna take a little trip back to Africa once more with the African Forest Elephant. Now these guys are badass. Again, by Nicholas Lion Rider, and yeah, they're just so, so beautiful. 
Here's a female over here. They do have like these shorter, like straight tusks, I would say. And yeah, they are such beautiful creatures. I don't know. I'm just so floored by how well he was able to make this happen. And yeah, that's pretty much that for them. And here we go. We have a lot of waterfowl to get into, so we're just going to make sure we get through all of them. So this one, of course, is the Harlequin Duck. This one is the male of the species, so it has a lot more color. I believe that one is the female as well. But yeah, these guys are really cool. Most of these are made by Rihanna or Romyron. But of course, I will let you guys know when they aren't. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. So if you are hoping to have like a waterfowl aviary or something like I am hoping to have in Foxborough, definitely do check these guys out. We also have the Hooded Mer Mergazner. Yeah, the Hooded Mergazner. And these guys are really cool. They have these like unique like tufts of hair on their heads no no they're just very funny creatures i love them and of course we do have the female over here i think she's a little glitched out but yeah she will eventually go back in the water so she can kind of make her way in there and of course we do have the ringed neck teal i believe that's what it's called ring teal duck there we go yeah these guys are very colorful as well you can see like a ton of color happening on them but yeah, these guys are called teals because of the color of their bill. And I don't know, just very, very interesting creatures this time around. And last but not least, we also have the common loon. I used to see these guys all the time up when I lived in Maine. And they're probably one of my favorite kinds of waterfowl, so definitely do check these guys out. You have the personal leaf request to do so. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. I don't know, just the coloring and the patterning on them is amazing. But... Of course, we gotta pay homage to Bongo Hardwood himself. I can't believe this, guys. I cannot believe this. Look how stellar this pelican looks. Alright, we're just gonna look at him for a little bit while I take a little sip of water, actually. Completely professional. But yeah, these guys are amazing. I love how well they look. I love how well they like how well they work in the game. Like, look how smooth these animations are. Look how amazing everything is. Unfortunately, of course, you know, we have the limitations of the game. They do fly. But, of course, they will default to go in the water and tread water most of the time. And you will have these guys having their happy little home in the water. So, yeah, amazing job to all of our waterfowl friends. They did such amazing works this time around. And I did, unfortunately, skip this guy over here. Oh my god. So this is the Eurasian Lynx by Mayor G. Completely redone. And it is actually compatible with the old one. So I do have Eurasian Lynx. I have both of them installed right here. So definitely do. You guys have your pick of the crop. But this one is the reworked one. And oh my god, the coat on here is so freaking beautiful. I don't know how Mayor G does it. It always comes out so crisp comes out so beautiful she does such amazing work so definitely do check this one out on the nexus these guys are so cute i love them look how cute that is look at our little vet running around but yeah i think we are just about to hand in the towel i think we already checked out this guy right did we yeah we did okay we're gonna save the dino for last so all right rihanna i'm gonna butcher the name of this animal because it it just has so many unpronounceable letters for me. But yeah, this is the Hispanolian Solodion. Solo Solendion. Solendon? Solinden. Sure. But yeah, these guys are one of the only venomous mammals in the entire world. They are found in the Caribbean, and it's really awesome to have a lot more Caribbean representation in here. I love these guys so much. I love their stupid little snoots. And you know, these guys came from the meerkat, which I am floored from. How did they even manage to get that to work? But yeah, these guys are extremely tiny, so they are perfect for like your small animal houses and whatnot. And definitely do check them out if you are hoping to get some of that. But yeah, and you can already not even see them when you're this far away. But of course, speaking of not being able to see anything, check out this camouflage baby right here. So this is the Nanukasaurus. I hope I said that right. 
Now this is made by TNT, or of course the original model was ported over from the aisle, and he did all the fur. <gasps> Stop! Oh my god! Okay, I this is probably one of my favorites now. Amazing work, TNT. These are so cute. But yeah, of course he reworked the entire model to be a lot more paleo accurate. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. Personally, I prefer my Jurassic Park dinosaurs. But yeah, these guys are absolutely insane to see. So if you are doing like a little paleo park, these guys are absolutely perfect for that. So definitely do check them out for that. And you know what? I feel like that is it. That is pretty much it for our entire showcase. So yeah, definitely do let me know what you guys think, what what your favorite one is out of this entire week. I gotta say, now it's a toss-up between these guys, the Red Shank Duke. I'm so amazed with them. And now, listen TNT, you sold me. I'm a paleo nerd. These guys are adorable, especially the baby. Also, they swim, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know what your guys' favorite is. I'll tell you what. That's pretty much it, yeah. I, I got nothing else to say. We'll end it on the Pelican as well. These guys are also some of my favorites. But definitely do check out my other mod showcases. I know you guys like to rewatch them. There are over 250 mods on the Nexus, I want to say, right now. And I've reviewed pretty much every single one of them. So definitely do check out all my old showcases to see just, like, the evolution of the mods and, like, what new mods there are. And of course, as always, make sure to like the video, make sure to comment on the video, and of course, make sure to subscribe. It always helps me a lot. We are making our way right up to that 4K mark, so definitely do help me out get to there. But of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Take care, and I'll see you guys later.